Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's we discuss the project about near real time flood direction in urban and rural areas using high resolution synthetic aperture radar images. The main objective of the paper is near real time flood direction in urban and rural areas. Flood direction in urban area is guided by the flood extent derived in adjacent rural areas the algorithm assumes that high resolution topographic high data are available for at least the urban areas of the same in order that the SAR simulator may be used to estimate areas of radar shadow and layover the algorithm proved capable of detecting flooding in rural areas using terrasar x with good accuracy classification 89 percentage of flooded pixel correctly with an associated false positive rate of 6 percentage of the urban water pixels visible to terrasar x 75 percentage were correctly detected with a false positive rate of 24 percentage if all urban water pixels were considered including those in shadow and layover regions this figure fell to 57 percentage and 18 percentage respectively now let us see the view on the data flow diagram. First we load our input terrasar images. The next step is identify the, within the terrasar images our urban areas are identified. And the next step is delineation of urban area using LIDAR images. The main urban areas are delineated. Currently this process is performed manually as it is a pre-processing operation that is not time critical and the next step is calculate radar shadow the calculation of radar shadow and layover are performed using the lidar dsm the estimation of these regions is purely geometrically and use the lidar dsm of the scenes surface as well as the radar flight trajectory and incidence angle and the next step is calculate layover of urban areas here we are calculate the layover area of the urban areas and the next step is construct of compound DEM uh, a compound DEM is constructed for rectangle view being the DSM in the urban areas and the DEM in the rural areas of the rectangle in the rural areas building the vegetation heights or removed from the DSM to form the DEM using the pre-processing algorithm of the environmental agency of EA the compound DEM is required because Different processing is applied in the urban and rural areas of rectangle A. The slope of the DEM is also calculated in the rural areas. And the next step is identifying height, land height threshold DEM. In order to identify a set of pixels in region of height land that potentially contain no water, the height height size above with light. 10 percentage of pixels in the rural DEM is calculated. And the next step is segmented shadow. Lay or layover the segment the shadow layover objects are segmented using the multi-resolution segmentation algorithm of the rather than using a developer software this algorithm is used at several stages in the pre-processing and is based on the fractal net evaluation concept of the reference paper this employs an iterated bottom-up segmentation technique based on pairwise merging of adjacency region and the next step is segmented potential water and highland then the final we segment uh, the potential water and highland with the help of the unclassified objects in the segmentation are further segmented by applying the multi resolution segmentation algorithm to the compound guitar DEM again using the default scale settings now let us see the execution of the program first we select flooded.m file and click run file this is a MATLAB guy window designed for near real time flood detection in urban and rural areas using high resolution synthetic aperture radar images. That means the SAR images. First, we insert the SAR images and direct them the urban area. And next step is DEM construction. Here DEM is constructed, a compound DEM is constructed for rectangle A being the DSM in the urban areas and the DEM in the rural areas of the rectangle. In the rural area, building and vegetation heights are removed from the DSM to form the DEM using the processing algorithm of the environmental agency of EA. The compound DEM is required because 
Different processing is applied in the urban and rural areas of rectangle game. The slope of the DM is also calculated in the rural areas. And the next step is finding the shadow. The shadow or overlay objects are segmented using the multi resolution segmentation algorithm. And the next step is segmentation. Here, the land and the water region are segmented. The classi unclassified pixels in the segmentation are further segmented by applying the multi resolution segmentation algorithm to the compound leader DEM. Again, using the default scale settings, uh, regions contain water in the DEM will have unassigned heights and will be represented as individual objects in the segmentation. These are classified as potential water objects. Uh, and the next step is finding the thresholding. This is the filter of a filtered image. Here we are using the speckle filtering of a SR image. Near real time processing may begin as soon as the multi took geo registered Terrasar X image becomes available. The speckles filter data are used for processing in the rural areas through in the urban areas. The original SR data are employed instead to maintain spatial resolutions and the next step is segmentation of the urban area the segmentation of the urban area this is the segmentation of the urban area here also the water pixels here the water pixels also identified and the next step is finding the rural area this is our rural area this is our rural area water pixel segmentation and this is these are the rural area and these are the urban area the two images are merged here merged and the water pixels are identified here and the and the land values are threshold values are here this is the highland threshold for the urban area this is a waterland threshold and this is a highland threshold for rural area and then an automatic near real time flood delineation algorithm has been developed that is capable of detecting flooding in rural area with good accuracy and in urban areas with reasonable accuracy while good classification accuracy was obtained in rural area the accuracy was reduced in urban areas partly because of terrasar x poor visibility of the ground surface due to shadow and overlay the method of suppressing false alarms in the urban flood delineation using a spatial distributor height land threshold could be improved and the effect of increased spatial resolution in the urban area could be studied thank you